Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this super quick and easy watermelon bottle bag. So let's get started. So what you'll need for this project is you're going to need some green yarn, some white yarn, and some pink or red yarn depending on what color you want your watermelon to be. So those are the three colors that you'll need. You're going to need a pair of scissors. You're going to need a letter I number 9 5.5 millimeter hook. And you're going to need this tiny little sewing needle, which you're going to use for weaving in the ends or sewing the straps on. Okay, first step is you want to get your green yarn and your hook, and you're going to make a magic ring. To make a magic ring, you got to take the end that's coming from the ball of the yarn, and you're going to make get two fingers, wrap your yarn around like so to make an X. Then you're going to put your hook through the first one and over the second one, twist it through, and then you're going to have a circle like this. Don't tighten it because you're going to grab the loose end and you're going to chain one. Now into this circle, you're going to do 10 single crochets. Once you finish your 10, it should look something like this. And then you're going to grab the loose end and you're going to pull it tight. And then it becomes a circle like this. And then you're going to put your hook into the first stitch that you see, the first stitch you made. Grab the yarn and slip stitch. You want to do two single crochets in each stitch. So you're going to chain one. You see that first stitch? You're going to go into it, do a single crochet as normal, but do another one in the same stitch. So you're going to do two in each of the stitches. I forgot to mention you can use some sort of stitch marker like a paper clip and mark the place where you began. Now once you reach the end of doing two single crochets in each stitch, you're going to put your hook back in the first stitch, grab your yarn, and slip stitch. Now you want to chain one and do one single crochet, increase, one, increase, one, crease. What that means is you're going to do one single crochet in this, and then two single crochets in this one, and then one, two, and so on. And once you reach the end of that row, you're going to go in the first stitch and you're going to slip stitch again, like that. Now you're going to do chain one and then you're going to do two single crochets and then increase. So that means one single crochet, two single crochets, and then two in this one. So one, one, two, one, one, two. So increase every third. One, put the stitch marker in, second, and two. Okay, and then once you reach the end, you're just going to go on the first chain again and slip stitch. So this is the base of the thing, but if you have a slightly bigger bottle, you could add one more row where you could just do three single crochets and then increase, but this is like, I feel like the standard size for a bottle, and it's what I did, so now you're going to start single crocheting in each one to build the curve. So you're just going to go chain one and single crochet in all of them. You're going to do this for seven rows. So seven times five, six, seven. You're just going to do single crochet around the whole thing. Okay, once you're finished the seven rows of just doing single crochets, it should look something like this, like a little tiny cup. After you slip stitch it off, you're going to go ahead and grab your scissors and you can just snip off 
the green yarn and you're done with the green yarn for now. Next you want to grab your white yarn because that's like the rim here. And then how you're gonna connect how you're gonna connect the white to the green is like this. You're gonna you have that loop on the green and then you just hold the white and you loop that through and you make sure both loose ends are really tight like this you can go ahead and chain one with the white and then you're gonna do a double crochet so you're gonna do that is you're gonna loop the yarn around the hook and then you're gonna go into the first stitch grab the yarn and put it through the first two loops and the first two loops I'm gonna tie the two strings together so they're not loose ends and there you are now you have the white on to do to get the little hole effect there you're going to chain one skip a stitch so you're gonna skip that stitch and go into this one you're gonna loop around and double crochet in there and then you're gonna chain one double crochet skip this one get this one chain one skip this one double crochet in that one so that's how you get the whole effect so you do that all the way around and then once you get to the last one you're gonna do it normally and then you're just going to grab the yarn and slip stitch it through the first one so that's your first that's your first row of white completed you're gonna do another row of white so we're doing two rows of white you're gonna chain two and then you're going to double crochet into that, into that hole right there. And then you're going to repeat the same process, but every stitch that you crochet into is the hole. So, chain one, crochet into this hole. And then once you're done the last one again, you're going to slip stitch into the first one. Now you're done with the white. You can snip the white again. And now you're going to grab your pink or your red. I have like a pinkish red color. You're going to grab the loose end. And you're going to do the same thing you did with the white to the green. So hold the pink. Chain it through to connect it. And now you have two loose ends. The white and the pink and you're gonna tie the two you're gonna tie the two ends together now you're gonna do the same thing that you did with the white chain one double crochet into that first loop chain one Double crochet into the next hole, chain one, double crochet into the third hole. You're going to do the exact same thing you did with the white all the way around for 11 rows. So that's basically this whole chunk right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll be right back when I'm finished. After you finish the 11 rows of pink or red, you're, you're going to slip stitch into the first one just to finish complete the row then you're gonna chain one you're gonna single crochet in each hole so that's one into the first hole second one into the second second hole not into the actual stitches but into the hole and then once you finish a single crochet in each hole you wanna slip stitch into the first stitch and then chain one and then you're just going to cut your string and pull it through because you are done the body of the bag. Now, let's work on the straps. You could do this all one color or you could do it like the watermelon sort of pattern that I did over here. Okay, we're going to take the pink or red yarn 
and we're just gonna do a slip knot pull that tight and you're gonna chain however long you want your strap to be so my strap goes fits around um, your shoulder but if you want a crossbody then you can make it slightly longer but mine is a hundred chains so we're just gonna chain for a hundred after you finish chaining a hundred chains you're going to double crochet in each of the stitches after you finish double crocheting in all a hundred stitches it should look something like this like noodles now you're gonna cut the pink yarn because we're done with it you're gonna grab your white yarn you're gonna grab the white yarn and you're gonna loop it in how you usually would after you finish single crocheting in all the stitches you're gonna cut your white yarn And then you're going to grab your green yarn. And you're going to connect your green yarn like you usually would. And then you're going to tie the two strings together again. And then you're gonna chain one and flip your work and then you're gonna do you're gonna do a double crochet in each of the stitches after you finish double crocheting in all the stitches wait I have one more After you finish double crocheting in all the stitches, you can chain one and cut the thread and pull it tight. And now you're done with the whole strap. Now you're going to take the body of the bag and the straps and perhaps for these loose ends, you can just tuck them in using a crochet hook like this and just like tuck them in and then just snip them at the end. I'm just gonna tuck this one in in a random place. And then you can just snip them. Now you wanna take your yarn needle and you can use any color to sew in the um, to sew the straps onto the bag and I prefer to use pink. So the hardest part is probably getting the yarn through the needle which kind of takes a while but it's totally worth it because this makes it so much easier to sew on the straps. So what I like to do is like fold it in half, try to push it through. And usually it works there we go now we have it on you're gonna snip it okay so you can sew on the straps however you like I like to do it like how I'm about to show you make sure they're parallel and not twisting I'm gonna put it on the inside of the bag so that you can't see the raw edges and I'm just gonna go ahead and sew it on after you sew in both straps you are done voila congrats if you have any questions or comments make sure to put them down in the comments below and make sure to like and subscribe for more crochet tutorials